stop negative voices in your head using four simple tricks. Four simple tricks, okay? Stop negative self-talks, basically. How can you safeguard yourself um, from negativity from within? How can you protect yourself within? We've talked previously about the average of five people around you and about positivity um, and surrounding yourself with positivity. But actually putting the external stuff around you is great, but you actually need to stop it inside yourself too. So there's four simple, how they say tricks, um, four simple processes, four simple habits um, that you can implement to help stop the negative voices within. Um, I'm going to rattle them off. Meditation, journaling, practicing gratitude and finding ways to give back. We're going to dive into them a little bit more. Meditation, okay, and I'm going to read these because it's got a fairly bit, bit of information on each one that I want to make sure that what I've written down is actually passed on to you through this video. One of the best ways to control your mind and eliminate negative self-talk is daily meditation. It requires you to focus on your breathing while being mindful of what goes on in your mind without any judgment. Practicing mindful meditation for the long term helps to increase the grey matter in your brain, which is what is responsible for allowing you to make better decisions that are more in tune with your emotions. Now, you're going to say to me, God, that sounds complicated. It's not. Meditation is something that just helps recenter yourself back to where you need to be. It's almost like a, um, it's like pushing the default button, resetting to default, as it were. It just takes you, just stop yourself. It prevents you from escalating into a whole host of negative stuff. Um, if you're in a bad, stressful situation, stop. Close your eyes, take a break. And just breathe and focus on the breathing and it will relax you to a point where you'll be able to then make better informed decisions as to the situation that you're in to be able to move forward. And this is why I say in the long term, it helps actually increase the grey matter because what you're doing is that you're allowing yourself, you're allowing your brain to find the solution or you're allowing yourself the time for your brain to find the solution by slowing things down, by taking that meditative step. It's not the whole cross your legs, hold your hands in the air, mm, meditating. Um, meditation, I think we should all know now, is in a number of forms that we can do it. So don't be naive. Use it. And don't be embarrassed either. At the end of the day, do you want to be embarrassed and not meditate and not actually stop the negative talk in your head? Or do you want to stop the negative talk, do a bit of meditating or breathing calmly in a controlled environment, recenter your focus on you to better then give yourself the time to find the problem to the situation that maybe you are in. Or just to better recenter yourself and just reset your day to be able to go back to having a positive impact on others. Journaling is the second one to help the negative self-talk. Writing things down, it's so important. We talk about writing goals um, and writing them down to, to actually put them into our subconscious. Well, journaling is the same thing or very similar. And what I've written here is actively journaling helps you to look at your current situation from a distant perspective and know more about yourself in general. When you regularly write down the activities you performed during the day and the feelings you had, you'll learn to recognise what matters to you and what is trivial. The more you write down your feelings and experiences, the more you notice patterns in your life, like negative thinking, Recognising these kinds of patterns will allow you to make the necessary changes to shift your thinking. Again, shifting your mindset. 
Now, journaling. Before we move on to the next, journaling, which is what we've just talked about. My coach, Linda, will tell you I was a nightmare for journaling. I am improving every day with my journaling. Um, and it's one of those habits that I'm changing and working on day to day and I'm very conscious of to be able to improve. Now, I didn't like writing things down, so I started just recording mini audios, um, like a Star Trek Captain Kirk's log, as it were. Um, but I found that helped, because it made it a bit more of a story, but what it did do is it put a distant perspective on things. So when I came to starting to write things, it helped improve actually what how I was writing, what I was writing, um, and started getting more of the detail down. So journaling really is, it's a lot deeper, but it's so much worth more while to do so. Practicing gratitude. Okay, as you are writing in your journal, begin to practice your gratitude for the things that you have in your life that you are grateful for. The things that you are thankful for don't have to be grand, big gestures, big things like owning a house or a fancy car. They can be as simple as being grateful that you can put food on your table at the end of the day to feed your family. Be thankful for that. Be thankful, be grateful that you are able to keep a roof over your heads, whether it be renting a flat, a studio flat, an apartment, three, you know, it doesn't matter. Be grateful for it. Be grateful you're in a position where you are right now to, to live. Because you're living. You have internet. You're watching this video via the internet. So therefore, you have been paying a subscription. So you have money coming in somehow or other to be able to do what you do. Be thankful for that. So practicing gratitude. Because when you start practicing gratitude and you put thanks out there, you'll be amazed at what does come back to you, which leads me on to the fourth way of helping to stop negative talk. Just briefly, practicing gratitude, obviously, because you're being thankful, you're being positive, stops the self negative self-talk, right? Simple, self-explanatory. Find ways to give. Okay, when you are able to give to others, you experience a particular joy and you begin to feel good about yourself, which generates positive energy, stops negative self-talk or any negative feelings. Spend time donating your time to help those in need and be grateful for what you have and find happiness in what you have contributed. The more you do this, the more positive thoughts and energy you will have and the harder it will become to fall into the trap of negative self-talk. Now, some people say to me, but isn't that selfish to get us a reward out of helping others? The reward of happiness for yourself is a reward of happiness that you then spread to everyone around you. So by giving back and helping others to make yourself feel good, you then just make them feel 10 times even better than how you feel already. It's a funny, weird thing. It's not that easy to explain, um, but it, it's true. It's not selfish to be looking out for your own happiness, your own joy. Stopping negative self-talk is not a selfish thing. And if that means by giving back to others and helping others, if you help someone and they smile and then you smile, you can't be upset or angry because you're smiling, you're happy. So if you're being happy, you stop the negative self-talk. But by you being happy, they see that their happiness has made you happy, makes them even happier. It's a whole knock-on effect. It's called law of attraction. And um, the law of attraction is an incredible thing. So anyway... Four things to help stop the negative voices in your head. Meditation, journaling, practicing gratitude and find ways to give back. 
make today count. I'm not going to say anymore. Make today count. Two actions. Like and subscribe. You know the drill. And in the comments below, put down whether you... i tell you what. I want in the comment below, have you practiced, have you done meditation before? If yes, put yes, done meditation. Did it work for you? Didn't it work for you? Why didn't it work for you? Journaling. Do you like journaling? Practicing gratitude. Is it something you do every day? And are you helping others? How are you helping others? Put in the comments below. I challenge you. Write down what's happening with you. Make today count.